So let's just go to the room and put in the animation. It doesn't matter where you put it. So now let's see the actual animation there. Here we go. As you can see it's above where we are. It looks quite big. But if we do press the W button, we can see the legs move. And maybe if we raise, raise the camera, you can see the arms as well. Now, I'm just going to edit it so we can see it better. So, just say OK to that animation. And get the camera up. First of all, with the camera, we're going to change our zoom Z. So, the zoom is out. So, if this has happened in your own 3D engine, just make sure you zoom out. Also, raise the Z. We're going to make Z from Z220. And also, on the draw event, on these X from, Y from, and Z from, I'm just going to write plus X2, plus Y2, and plus Z2. So, you should be able to see it slightly better. There we go. It doesn't look like a giant anymore. So we can just press the W button. That's all I'm doing. And he's walking. Obviously, he's just walking still. So if we want to make this more of a game style, then we're going to have to give him a bigger place to walk in. So, first of all, let's go to our draw floor change these 250 to 500 each so 500 500 minus 500 and minus 500 again so these so it's bigger a lot bigger and just okay to that now for the animation what we're going to do is in the step event we're going to draw some if statements so first of all, let's say speed equals zero. Then we're going to say if keyboard check the uh, sorry odd bracket bracket w then parentheses and we're just going to say speed equals negative one. Okay. This next one, if keyboard check bracket bracket or bracket bracket a, then parentheses direction plus equals let's say two, and then we're just going to do another similar one if keyboard check bracket bracket odd bracket bracket d then parentheses and direction minus equals 2 so let's just have a look at that and we can yeah, I'm pressing the d button he's rotating the A button he's rotating so we've got our person to rotate so you could use this in the game and he also walks forward so there now obviously this is more looks more of just like an animation view I can rotate the camera around but he is separate to us so if you want to make our camera follow him, what you have to do is simply just go into camera, into the draw event, and all you have to do is say x2 equals animations dot or whatever you called your object. I obviously I call mine animations. So animation dot x and y2 equals animation dot y that's all you need you can do it with z 
but currently we're not actually moving in the Z axis, so I'm leaving that out. And now, when we walk, the camera stays with us, and when we get to the edge of this floor, it's easy to see that we're actually moving. And so when we get to the edge of the floor, it's easy to see when we're actually moving. I've just hit my mic. So, there we go, he's moving. Of course you can play about with this by maybe making the camera move when he moves. Or maybe making him have more than one animation. But this is the basic placing an animation into your game. And hopefully you'll be able to use this to make good games. I I get quite mes mesmerized by this, so I'm just going to stop this and uh Okay, so that's how you add in your animations. I'm just going to save this. And that's saved. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's been helpful to you. If you've got any questions or maybe you, you've got a video idea, then please just sort of comment, say what it is, and um, hopefully I'll do that. In the meantime, I've got a couple of other videos for EGF to make, so bye.